Yeah, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another pedal demo. I'm Brett Papa, and today, hot off the press, the Wampler Tumnus Deluxe. Now, the Tumnus itself is a freaking awesome, you know, clonish inspired boost slash overdrive pedal on its own. Amazing. But this, you know, everybody out there knows I'm a, if you've been watching my channel, I'm a boost junkie, so like I love my boost pedal. This new Tumnus Deluxe just takes it straight up a whole another level because now you have a really flexible eq section you got bass mid and treble and then if you look down here you have this little you know kind of this is the normal side of like maybe what a normal typical tumness would be and then it has this hot switch as as you get the gain up it just like turbocharges this and then all of a sudden this cute little fella right here turns into his whiskey bar brawling drinking brother who just got kicked out of the family it just, it gets like straight Van Halen territory, which I know too, you know, is another thing that I absolutely love. So check this out. I took this thing to rehearsal the other night and I usually am a two boost guy. And what I did was I kicked one of my boosts off my board, put this one on and I'm running everything in this cover band from like Duran Duran to Hard Rock to Tom Petty all over the map. And what was killer about this pedal is it has a really great mid-range and so what mid-range does if you don't know and you've never played in a band it really helps you cut through so when you step on this pedal it really punches you out because i'm in a band with another guitar player and a keyboard player so i'm fighting for sonic space as it is so anything to help cut through a mix especially when a lead comes up or something like that i don't have to worry about volume pedals this pedal is awesome now check out what just this one knob does okay so we got you know, that's typically how I run my amp. It's divided by 13 BTR23. I got a Nash Strat with Lawler pickups, Imperial Low Wind over here, S series single coils. Little verb from a Strymon Flint and a Line 6 Echo Park. Right, so just a little dirt. Now check out just this one knob once I engage it. Sweetens it up a little bit. Make it a little bit more mids. touched everything else that's not the gain knob that's the level knob right so what i like to use that kind of sound for is i would actually back it off a little bit and this is great for <laughs> hendrix stuff your amp up just to that next level right right at that that perfect amount of breakup now i could also use this is like a like a good rhythm Controls, check out how versatile the controls are. to like treble booster. <laughs> it's like 
like a novelty effect, right? <laughs> to the gain. definite overdrive territory right so that i mean you can use the other way as more of a boost it's like just a little bit more of what your amp is and then you flip the gain on put the level back you know a little bit and now it's like a full-blown really cool great voiced overdrive pedal so <laughs> That's just the normal setting. If you kick it up. that for the hard rock you know sections of your gig or whatever and then you can turn the gain back just turning the gain back alone and flipping up that just the, the overall volume the level and it's just a great boost a la Hendrix all that kind of stuff too so it's great for kicking up you know the the vibe of what you already got so you got a good overdrive and you just want a little bit more but you want a little extra mids to punch through in a lead and it give you a good solid boost. It's amazing for that. And you could just take it as a standalone overdrive pedal too. It's really great sound. And say you're in a gig where you can't turn up the volume, right? And you're used to playing, you know, at a, at a certain volume on your amp to get the tone you wanted. The boost section is great to simulate that as well. So it gives you a nice warm thing to go on. And then you can either add another pedal to it or another boost and you are in business to what you are used to. But that is my review of the Wampler Tumnus Deluxe. Amazing, amazing pedal. I can't stress enough. I When you use something you know, in your, in your house, it's one thing and it sounds great, but when you use it in a real world situation with a band and like I said, competing frequencies, it really just cuts through the mix and they just, perfect way. I'll leave the Wampler site info down in the description box below. Check that out. Like I said, he always has killer videos of other guys demoing the pedal, using it you know, to record with or in live situations or whatever. Great site, great pedals. Brian's an awesome dude. Check out Wampler pedals. They are 